It is the most famous high school football stadium in the state of Colorado. Not because of the legendary games that have been played on its turf, for there have been few. And not because of its grand structure and vast seating, for it is small. And not because of its down-home feel as you walk into the concession stands for popcorn, which happens to be the best. No, this stadium is the most famous in the state because nearly every single one of us has seen it. And as we share with you tonight, a Friday night at Gold Digger Stadium is extraordinary. Always jacked up in sky high for Friday night football here. There was something special about knowing that the whole community was coming out to support you, that you were going to play. You know, we've, we've got a great crowd, a great atmosphere. Um, you know, people people drive by and stop and see a game. Between being in the mountains and we usually get a real good crowd here and having the highway in the background with the semis driving by and honking, playing under the lights. It was just a, it was a real cool place to play. But uh, it, it's, it's really a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a piece of Americana, this field and, and this venue. Built in the middle of the 20th century, Gold Digger Stadium sits just off I-70 in Idaho Springs, a town of nearly 2,000 residents steeped in gold mining history. And along with its beautiful downtown streets and the original Bojos, Idaho Springs is most identified by its high school football stadium. And on a fall evening in October, there are few settings for high school football that trump this prep wonderland. Of the many traditions at Gold Digger Stadium, from the ringing of the bell after a score, to the students lining up on the field to welcome their team at halftime, perhaps the most prevalent traditions are made by those with no ties to the game, no ties to the stadium. I'd say about half the semis that drive by during the game once the lights are on that stark out are laying on their horns as they're going by and and uh, if any of the local uh, deputies or cops go by they usually run the sirens as they go by and we've had them slow down we've had them honk we, had, we actually had one park a couple years ago and watched most of the game it was a good time I was in college and I ran into some guys that some hunters and they said they were going up to, to hunt elk and they saw that we were playing a game and they came and they, they said they watched the game. Homecoming night at Gold Digger Stadium is always amongst the biggest of the season. And the Clear Creek Gold Diggers are getting set to take on Estes Park. And all the pomp and circumstances present. Floats are ready for the halftime procession. Fans line up for tickets for what will be close to a sellout. And the Gold Digger football team is getting prepared in their makeshift locker room. And that's what you need to do. You need to turn that switch on and get after it. Okay? As the Gold Diggers have clear creek and the Bobcats of Estes Park battle on the field, the fans enjoy a Friday night under the light. And when halftime rolls around, it's time for the homecoming festivities. Floats from the freshman class to the senior class are displayed as is the homecoming royalty. To the 2015 homecoming court. And when the pageantry of homecoming concludes, that is when the fireworks begin, literally. Under the glow of shining light, Clear Creek takes the field for the second half, but they have work to do. The gold diggers trail Estes Park 12 to seven. But tonight, it would not be for Coach Brian Inman and the gold diggers, Estes Park, used a stifling defense to keep Clear Creek at bay. And as the fourth quarter arrived, the Bobcats slowly pulled away from the Gold Diggers on their way to a 26-7 win. And with that, another magical Friday night has come and gone in Idaho Springs. And the gem known as Gold Digger Stadium returns to its role as an I-70 icon. 
waiting for another Friday night to come along.